Hello, Skullgirls fans! Shark 3 bring you a special stream because I'm going to be at EVO 2014 this year. I'm not going to be here for pretty much the next week. I'm not casting tomorrow on my normal schedule for different reasons, but yeah, Thursday, Saturday, I'm not casting 0K or Akron or anything else because I am not going to be here. I am going to be in Vegas, which is quite a few thousand kilometers away from where I am normally, and thus it is rather difficult to stream. However, I decided why not do a little thing for Skullgirls, because that's what I'm primarily going to be playing over there. That's the main reason I'm going. So, without further ado, let's just get to quick matching. Yeah, I'm just going to play quick matches online for about 15 minutes, half an hour, and that's going to be it. Just sort of, this is primarily an announcement that I'm not going to be here next week, and then with a little bit of extra, because, well, why not? Why not show you guys what I'm, what I sometimes do in my spare time outside of RTS games. So, I'll we'll start a quick match. So, those of you not familiar, Skullgirls is a fighting game. Not sure many not familiar, since I imagine if there are people watching, they'll probably be on the Skullgirls IRC. But if you are familiar, it's a fighting game. It's a fighting game in the vein of Guilty Gear and. You know, Melty Blood, if you've ever played it. Like, it's a fast fighting game, generally of the type considered to be Air Dasher, typically as referred to. Large focus on aero combat, large focus on combos, not as much focus on. Guessing games, though there is that too. Also, apparently, not a lot of people online at the moment. Sometimes quick matching can be a little bit finicky in terms of finding people who are close enough, but thankfully, this game does have really good netcode. Ah, that's probably okay. Yeah, the other thing you might notice is that this is a game where the primary majority of the cast are female. Unusual for a fighting game, but actually, not unusual for me. I typically do play women in fighting games because they. I don't know what it is, but fighting game designers have a tendency to make female characters Let's put an end relatively to this agile. Mouse game. In general, I've never really found a fighting game where the female characters aren't, Showtime. except maybe this one and Melly Blood, because the sheer number of female characters makes it difficult to avoid that. Anyway, on to the match. So, as you can see, I'm not especially good, especially when I am talking about what I'm planning on doing while doing it. So if I do stop speaking at any point, it is because I'm trying to focus on not losing. Also, did not mean to do that. And, yeah. In case you didn't realize the character I was playing there first does have the ability to remove her head, which is handy, but at the same time, I don't actually play head off very often. So I'm not pretty good to use that out playstyle, and I'm probably going to lose this match, but, yeah. Primarily a demonstration for those of you, like I said, you know it's about. Anything, any questions people have, please ask in the stream chat so I can actually get to answering them. I'm really not sure what will be hard to understand other than, you know, everything, since I don't imagine that a lot of people... People who are watching are not familiar with this game will just not know what's going on. And basically, I'm trying to reduce my opponent's health bar to zero before they reduce my health bar to zero, but at this point, I am not doing well for that. Come on, let me head hit you. Ah, okay. That was a poor match, I, I realized, but... Anyway. So yes, that was a brief match of Skullgirls with absolutely no explanation of what's going on. I apologize. Not sure really to go into other than... I got wrecked. It happens. I don't anticipate to actually go very far in the tournament, but I thought, hey, why not? Let's go. Let's try it anyway. See what happens. So up against... So, the character up against here, Valentine, is basically the fast character. Ladies and gentlemen, it's and the fast ninja Showtime. character. If anyone's played Guilty Gear, she's like Chip. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass because, well, fast characters, fast combat heavy characters can be annoying. As noted there. Although, admittedly, it also means that she's not the strongest. What am I doing? I'm this. She isn't the strongest character. Uh, her individual attacks and moves are not the most powerful, but they are... Medium kick. Light kick, medium kick. And now we're back to Parasol. This is the character we're playing as before. Zoning focus. Ah, very projectile focus, not particularly... Although I say that, I throw projectiles on my own, but still. She is projectile focused. She is not... She's okay at close range combat, not especially great, but at the same time, I'm doing horribly. Yeah, making a total fool of myself. Now that's real Soviet damage. 
Anyway, yeah, so the characters I was playing, Fortune is a rushdown-oriented character. Basically, there's nothing at range. Her head kind of helps, but otherwise, she's focused entirely on getting up and kicking ass directly. While Fuqua, the other character, is a mix of zoner grappler with some combo focus. She's basically jack-of-all-trades. I recently picked her up because she was an April Fool's Day joke character. That ended up going a bit too far, but honestly, I'm fine with that because I quite like her as a character. She's... She's great. She fills in a lot of holes for my team. I was playing the character she was cloned from before, but that was just another rushdown character, so it was kind of oversaturating my team in rushdown. Granted, I'm not actually showing off any of the practice skill that I have because I am getting rather distracted friendly by speaking. It is rather difficult to speak and play at the same time. Doing both is generally considered a challenge. Also, playing high light. But I mentioned most games are going to be high light because I am streaming. That just tends to make games higher lag than it would otherwise. Thankfully, like I said, this game does a pretty good netcode, so it'll be difficult to notice. If you're wondering, it's sort of rollback netcode. It's GGPO is what it uses, for anyone who's familiar. Anyway, this is the Fuqua, once again, actually. In fact, I'm playing a mirror of my own team. Ah, shoot. Okay. Anyway, almost my combo. Darn it. Okay, well, yeah, as you, as you notice, you can also throw in your teammates for assists. Very Marvel vs. Capcom 2 style, which actually is one of the inspirations of this game. So it's kind of a mix. This game is kind of a mix of Marvel vs. Capcom and Guilty Gear. If I could do a yeah, quarter circle, I'd be fine. But, there we go. Darn it. Okay, yeah, if you notice my air launch. Air launch is not something I practice very much, so I don't actually have that particularly good at that, I'm afraid. Not what I wanted to have happen. Wait, I wanna get come on. There we go, that's what I wanna happen. Into a DHC, but it's not really gonna matter since I'm gonna win, finally. Ah well, not the best match. I'm apparently messing up my deck quarter circles, but like I said, that's what happens when you're what when you're Speaking while playing. Anyway, that was an interesting match. Mirror of my own team. Fortune is fairly popular. She's considered to be quite high tier, so although admittedly tiers are not that important in this game. I've I realize that's bandied around a lot as a phrase, but apparently they actually aren't very important in this game. And, oh, color I want. Don't put In case you're wondering, I am playing with a pad, Logitech F710. I do not have a stick. I don't intend to get a stick. No, that's not level. I've... Scary I like having the pad for a lot of... Oh, here we go. Another thing I'm talk about. Cerebelli here, Camera's character I'm fighting against. She is the grappler. If you play Guilty Gear, she is Potemkin. Except faster. But no less annoying. <laughs> she gets to grab off. She is a little tricky to fight at close range. I'm not sure why I'm not playing Fuku against her. No. Oh yeah, another thing to point out, that that little explosion of light there before I... There we go, that's a DHC one. little explosion of light there when I'm blocking, that is... That is a push block. When you're blocking, you can push your opponent away by hitting both punch buttons, or two punch buttons. This is a six button fighter, by the way, so yeah. There are three punch buttons and three kick buttons. If you hit any pair of them while blocking, you will... If you hit any pair of them, you will push your opponent away while blocking. Anyway. That's a really, really handy thing to do when you're being attacked. If you're blocking, push blocking is a really useful way of getting out of it. Unfortunately, I am bad at converting, well, bad at knowing when to block and bad at converting blocking into attacking. Which is why I tend to lose a lot of games. I just... I feel like if I start blocking, I just get stuck. Which is actually what the push blocking is really good for, is that you don't get stuck. If you're blocking, you can push block, and you can actually do an attack within the push block. If the push block takes less time than your normal block, you end up having a chance to basically do a guard cancel off of it. 
which is very useful because it allows you to quick, quickly convert your attack, or your blocking into an attack, and basically reverse the match, because sometimes it gets really annoying if you have... It can get really annoying if you have... If you're just blocking the entire time. I'm ready to pounce. And this is Big Ban, a new character that came out recently. Ladies Heavy character, also kind of not so much grapple focus, but definitely very range punch focus. Kind of the other half of the tension that's their ability to have. Although still does have some dangerous grapples. And dangerous anti airs as well. So I thought to get on all the confident players on, didn't I? Uh, I just want to stole those IRC that is trolling me right now. I don't think anyone's watching, honestly. Anyway, so, yeah, once again, not doing especially well here. Oh, God, that is a command grab. Hoping to get one of Fuqua's supers is invincible during a startup, so, ah. Very useful if you can actually get in, but I apparently can't. So that didn't work out very well. Match is a bust. Yeah, that was. I apologize for the shameful display. I understand. I I should be giving my gamer card or some bullshit like that. Anyway, on in the next match. What are we up against? I don't actually recognize any of these names from earlier times I played online. I have been practicing a lot fairly recently, but I haven't had this game for a long time. Only a couple, only a few months now, like five or six months. Oh yeah, this is Peacock, the main zoner character, and another complete pain in the butt to fight against. I forgot that move is actually invincible. I gotta get away from that. Okay. Zone versus zone! Ow! Oh, darn it, I can't even get my zoning out. Okay, because basically, in case you're wondering, Fuqua is actually. A bit of trivia Fuqua is actually a mix of Peacock and Cerebella from essentially the alpha versions of those characters. Ah, bad time for a heart attack. Anyway, yeah, so, if you notice similarities between all those three, well, between Fuku and those two characters, that is why, also, I hate the Peacock matchup. I absolutely hate the Peacock matchup. Not my worst matchup, but it is one of the ones I don't like. Because running through these bombs is about as hard as it looks, if not harder. But once again, I do suck at this game, so what do I know? Anyway, I'm going for 30 minutes now. I realize this isn't the most informative or possibly entertaining stream I've done. This is just, like I said, a one-off, primarily announcing that I'm going to EVO 2014. I will not be here for the next week. I will not, there will be no Acron or 0K streams for next week until the Tuesday after next. Not tomorrow, but the following Tuesday. June 15th, I think. Not fight this guy yet. No, oh, it wasn't yet. All right, like a meme. Time to pull myself. Go to Little Insmith. Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, back to looks like Sarah Bella Fuqua. Interesting. You may have noticed earlier in the menu that you can actually choose your assists. There are couples that are set by default, but primarily you can choose them, which means oh. which actually provides a lot of flexibility. However. The one that my opponent is using is actually one of the ones that the game kind of gives for you as an option. Oh, come on! How am I getting my... Gosh. Yeah, I'm not doing especially well here, I'm afraid. No, not only you, but also reference! Uh, yeah, I... I'm sorry. I apologize I'm doing so terribly, but... It is... As I mentioned before, really hard to pay attention and play at the same time, but I need to speak, otherwise there's really no point in me doing this. If I'm not speaking, why am I streaming? There's, 
I don't see any of the time. Other than to make you hear my voice while doing a terrible job playing this game. And then getting my ass kicked again. <sighs> I think I've won once in the stream. Normally I win about half of the games I play, but... Of course, you're not going to believe me, because I'm looking terrible. Ah, well. Anyway, on to another match. Like, I don't think anyone's watching, because I haven't seen anything in the Twitch chat. No questions or anything, no comments. But I guess for YouTube, at least for the next week, if someone's looking at my channel. If anyone looks at my channel, they'll see that I won't be here for a week. Hang on to your oh, wait, this is the same guy I fought last time. All right, Let's see if I can get a rematch Ladies in and, and do better this time. Showtime! Here I come! Of course, I have to pick one move that. Oh, sleep. Not exactly a whole lot of invincible moves right now. Ah, in case you're wondering, that move has armor. Trying to hit it doesn't do me much good. Okay, well, I suck horribly. Oh, this guy is going to Evo, so I least have one fewer person I can't beat not there. Ah, damn it. Sorry, I apologize. I'm, I don't know why I'm making the excuse of it's hard to pay attention while talking. It is hard to pay attention while talking. It's been proven, scientifically. There's no point in mentioning it. But I just don't know what else to talk about, because no one's telling me what to talk about. Give me something to talk about. Someone say something about what they want me to talk about when I'm playing. Because I really want to know what to discuss. I don't usually commentate funny games, and I, this is a first-person thing, too, so it's not the same. I'm not commenting other people's play. I want platonic relationship that's prone. Even though most people seem to think platonic relationship is the one you should use. I Hang like having clone and oh, color. Bounce. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! What? I guess something to discuss. Well, not really. I don't know. No, I promise I wouldn't make any more Monica Magic references in my in my videos, so I'm not going to. I'm not gonna bring it up. Just yeah. This is not Ugh! I'm gonna block my attack here. Too. There we go. Finally get my combo in. Ah. Into a 360. So, uh, the heart tag actually works out this way. Into a 3. Ah, now I don't want that to happen. Now right, so we're gonna Fuqua Mirror. Should be interesting. I don't know how well this, I don't know how this person plays Fuqua since I've never I played the Fuqua yet, but I, now I can. Now they're not bad. Come on. Okay, just need to get. No! Oh, no, Sony is not working! Crap, back to Fortune. Now, Fortune's actually my better character, but I'm not playing especially well as her. I'm not sure why. Ah! I need. Well, that was totally shameful. I'm sorry. I thought I had that win, but I didn't. Some decent combos with Fuqua, but nothing spectacular. Anyway. Probably go on for another 10 minutes or so and then just finish it up. Not really sure what else there is to talk about. And I think I made my point that I'm not going to be here next week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's oh, so yeah, this is the character I used to play that Luke was a clone of. She is very heavy rushdown. And as a result, I do not want to get hit by her, and unfortunately I have gotten hit by her, and 
reset to. Ah. Okay, there we go. What? Ah. Sorry. That was input failure. Should have gone a lot better. Now I'm angry because I couldn't get the input in. Hold on! Why are my quarter circle not working? Finally, that's what I want to do in the first place. Oh shit. Yeah, like I said, hard to pay attention to multiple things. Relationship. So that's all I really have that works. Hurry. This is fun. Ah, of course you just block. Let's go. Ah, finally gonna win a match. There we go. Got a win in. Although admittedly that was against a solo character, and there's nothing to point out those games that. You can clearly play multi different sized teams. You can play anywhere from one to three characters that you see in the character selection. And whoever has fewer characters gets a bit more health and a bit more damage. But most people play two or three characters because playing one character you don't get assists. And you don't get a switch out and thus you don't get the red health that regenerates. And we're back to this guy. Yeah, whenever... If you have a team, you get kind of two bars of health. You get your orange health, that's your true health left, and your red health, which will regenerate when your her hair just are off screen. Which will soon become very relevant because I'm not doing well here. Okay, they're. They are getting what they wanted this time. Been through worse. You can only actually bounce the person off the ground twice, which is why I was rather annoyed by that, because that does not do any good. Crap. Okay, well, Fuku's gonna have to pull it out here. Darn it, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Just, one of the things with this game in general is that you actually have not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot in long combos you can actually can only make combo last so long and if two moves are used to start a chain the combo ends up just being automatically burstable and the other player can just get out of it but what players will do instead is try to stop the combo at just the right time so that they can pick it up again and make it be a new combo which is called resetting. And sort of the embarrassing part is I can actually get out of those combos half the time. Whenever the number stops counting up on their side, that means the combo's over. <sighs> okay, well, this might be the last game. Oh, gosh. This is not good. I... Ah, darn, I had a hit, too. There we go. Oh, damn it. Let's really screw the deep scene. Right. Well, got a hard tag. My only choice. Not a good choice, but my only choice. So, see, the red health for Fortune is regenerating over time. Although, I gotta be careful about summoning her for assist, because if I summon her for assist at the wrong time, you're gonna lose her. And frankly, I'm doing shit. And that's when we buy a burst. That was. Combo was finished and had to be. Oh, come on! Man, that was shameful. Man, I'm horrible playing this right now. Something in, but. And I realize some of the people are going to be mad at me for going head on fortune, but frankly, I'm just more familiar with head on fortune, even though a headless fortune does give me the assist. <sighs> I got wrecked. Sorry about that. I guess I will play one more. I want to finish this on a win, but that might take hours in my current rate. I also want to finish it before I get really enraged. Oh, this game guy again. Okay, I thought he'd start with the best of three. No. Oh, 
server clone. Oops. That's what I wanted. Oh well. It's not a bad nice map. Hairball. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, it's showtime! Probably do it for me. Assuming I win, I don't wanna win the loss. Ah, uh, of course I also wanna actually get my control. So I'll go to the front kick. Ah, uh, why are my DHCs feeling? In case you're wondering, DHC is the thing I use for it. I think it's called Drive Hyper Cancel from Marvel or something. And it's basically what I'm using to switch out characters. Basically, you do one super followed by another. And one super for one character followed by a super for another character, and it just switches out characters without the risk of a hard tag, which gives your opponent room to actually hurt your character. Oh, damn it! Oh, this one, too. There's an outside chance I might get out of this. Nope, I'm dead. I've lost. There's no way I can get out of this. Oh, well, maybe. Let's get out of the corner there. Ah! Got him into a combo. Of course, I actually hit on the launch. It would have actually worked, but no, I have to keep going. There we go. Finally got the win. Okay. So yeah, that is going to be it for this one-off special. Thank you for watching. I apologize for the shameful performances, and I hope you enjoyed the ones that weren't shameful. And that is going to be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night.